New from Radiance, we have The End of Civilization Set. Three films by Peter Zilskin. And uh, the first movie in that is number 30 in the Radiance collection. And it's War of the Worlds Next Century. Now, I really wasn't sure what I was going to get with these films. Throwing them on, completely uh, lacking any knowledge, trailers, anything. Just putting on and seeing what I had to offer. And almost instantaneously been drawn into this strange world. We're throwing into um, a police state, one that is driven by media and the output of it, and aliens have landed. And uh, our main character, uh, Iron Eden, is a news presenter for an independent news show, and he is being kind of worked around to praise the visitors, praise that they're here, embrace the wonderful uh, attributes that they're bringing to this world. It's not something that he fully agrees with, but he doesn't really have a choice in what he's doing here. His kind of hand is forced. Wszystko ma swoje granice. I swoją cenę. Czyżbyś chciał się zbuntować? When he decides to almost push back a little bit against this new regime that is being pushed onto the people, he finds his life turned upside down. This is a movie where it's all about the feeling and the experience. And although I do not understand the political climate at the time of Poland, I can get a lot from what this movie is delivering. The idea of uh, this communist state, the idea of there being only one valid truth at any time and that can be made up by whomever is in charge at the time and the inability to fight back with any real effect at all it comes across within this film now this looks amazing it has some wonderful cinematography steeped in neon blue at times it's just a wonderful looking movie it has this real kind of air about it It's such a bleak uh, aesthetic, but it has these moments of surreal touches all the way through it, where things appear and it's completely out with of the confines of the world that we have built. We have this uh, world where everybody is put upon, struggling to survive. Just every day is a struggle to get to the next day. And then there are moments of fantastical elements, like the moment where... Uh, Aaron is in his bed with his wife and all of a sudden chaos just lands as the police burst through his door. As we see these diminutive people dressed up in silver garbs and face makeup just kind of run riot through the streets. It has these moments that just kind of break the, the, the monotonous... Uh, wear down of the people you know these these fantastical elements just pop up and it's one of these ones where i was captivated by the character i thought it was absolutely brilliant the uh, roman uh, wilhelmi is terrific as iron eden uh, this character who tries to fight back and fails to realize the futility of what he's doing i really appreciate it that aspect of the story and it finishes with such a wonderful uh, absurd moment of something that's going to stick with me for a while I really like the final sequence of the movie with our character just almost looking at us um, staring at us uh, almost persecuting us with his view uh, as he kind of walks off into a, a brighter outside of sorts a, a, a nice big bright light that's leading him away from this dark world. I love so many aspects of this and it's such a quick run time as well. It's constantly moving. It's constantly assaulting the senses with visual images, with surreal moments, with this glaring horn that signalises the repetition all the way through the movie of the news the single one truth being pushed down onto the people there as the people are just stupefied by this nonsensical ramblings that are being pushed upon them whether they want it or not. 
This was an impressive opening film to this set. I absolutely adored this. It was captivating in more ways than I can properly articulate. I suggest just sitting down and being blown away by this film. As an opener for this set, it has made me extremely excited to go on and check out the rest of the films. In fact, as soon as I'm done this, I'm jumping on to the next one. I want to see Ob Oba next, and that's what I will happily be doing. It's going to be a fun time. Let's dive into the disc and have a look to see what it has. Here we are in the extras for War of the Worlds Next Century by Radiance. Let's go to the special features. First up, Samusuk, The Independent Film Republic. A documentary on War of the World cinematographer Zygmunt Samosuk and his work featuring interviews with Soltskin, Andrei Wodja and amongst others from 2012. This is 30 minutes, 13 seconds. I was really interested in this extra because I thought the cinematography in War of the Worlds was simply fantastic and it didn't disappoint. 30 minutes, you get to run through his entire sort of career, his lifespan, how he get into doing what he did. It's fantastic and a great extra. Next up, PRL, Polish Post-Apocalyptic Fables. A new video essay by Dobrotka Witzkiewicz, exploring Slutskin's rejection of the science fiction label, produced exclusively for Radiance in September 2023. This is a really interesting extra. Um, it's only six minutes, but it packs a lot, and it's kind of uh, these statements interspersed with various animated sequences and it was great. It really was such a fascinating and interesting extra. Next up, we have Labyrinth, Jan Lineke's award-winning short film about a flying man who visits an Art Nouveau metropolis from 1963. It's 14 minutes and 56 seconds and it's just... It's definitely the artwork of that time. It feels very interesting. It's surprising in the way it kind of moves through its world and the tale that it's telling. Great visuals all the way through it and it was just a really kind of interesting watch as well. And that's the extras for War of the Worlds Next Century. There we have it. First movie from the End of Civilization set is an absolute winner. This is terrific. If the other two movies live up to this, we're in for another great box set and I would love to know your thoughts on this film if you've seen it or if you have this set or are you going to pick it up. So let me know in the comment box below whether you loved it, hated it, found it confusing, didn't understand it, uh, whatever. Let's have a conversation about this wonderful movie. As always, there is more content up here where you can see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to the Patreon, membership program and manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.